Hello everyone. The question for today's AMA by TJI is, what is a good investment return to have each year? Hmm. The answer to this is that you should seek to achieve a sustainable amount of return based on your level of skill sets. So what do I mean by that? For example, if today I do not know anything about investing at all, and I have set aside a sum of money which I do not need for the next few years, I'll be better off by putting this money into a fixed deposit which generates, say, 1% a year. Which, by the way, I don't think we can get it now uh, at 1% at this current moment. But that's just an example. So because I don't know much about investing, the best I could do uh, may be put maybe to put this money in fixed deposits and I will still be better off than leaving the money in my savings account. So similarly for some investors who want to do it more passively, they can do so with an ETF like SPY, which historically returns about 10% an annum. This is the expected return so far if you hold it for the long term. And you're going to be doing better than 90% of the other investors who try to stock pick or who are busy paying fees to advisors. So that's the first part of my answer to this question. Okay, but when this question is asked, I suppose the premise is that you're asking me, perhaps as an active investor and wondering how much is considered good or bad performance by managing your own portfolio. So here comes the second part of my answer. The purpose of investing actively by picking your own stocks is only for the reason that because you believe you can beat the index of the market you are invested in. Thus, for example, let's say in the US market, you rather not be vested in the leading 500 companies as decided by the index and you pick your own, say, 10 to 20 stocks. A fair measure would then be to see how your portfolio has performed in relation to the benchmark. If let's say this year, the benchmark S&P 500, it makes 15%, but your portfolio only makes say 10%, then you're underperforming the index. You'll be better off by not picking your brains and just by buying the index. If on the other hand, the S&P 500 makes say 5%, whereas you're up by 10%, it means there is alpha in your portfolio and that you value add to your portfolio by actively picking out the stocks. So the conclusion is, a good investment return for an active investor is one that outperforms the index against which he is invested for most of his uh, core holdings. If the S&P 500 is down by 5%, but his portfolio is still unchanged, I would say that he is still doing fine. Performance can only be measured relatively and not always in absolute numbers. Black swan or tail risk events are bound to happen from time to time. And when the portfolio crashes because of that, it doesn't mean that you are performing poorly. It is a given when you are already in the stock markets. However, I also want to add on that what is also important is that your core holdings are fundamentally sound and that you're invested in a good market. Otherwise, even if you beat the benchmark over the long term, the absolute returns that you are getting are probably still dismal. Also, be mindful that you should not be looking at investment returns in isolation. Often, it is very common to see investors comparing their investment returns with their friends and feel worse off just because the percentages do not match up. We must always understand the context on how the returns are derived from. For example, uh, for someone who claims to have just invested in one single stock that went up by, say, 9 to 10 fold in two years, it usually is only one of the many bets that made it true. It could have been all or nothing. So such stocks are either uh, very high in beta or irrationally driven higher by unsustainable hype, which one day will come back down to the earth. Although it may be a matter of months or a matter of years before it happens. So these are games that are not worth playing in my opinion. 
So for myself, I prefer doing well on a sustainable basis with a basket of curated stocks that I know are sound. Capital preservation is just as important as striving for better gains. The money that you lost with other stocks will not allow your investments to compound and the opportunity cost is just as great. Are you new to investing or have you been struggling with some unanswered questions in your investing journey? Send them in to us at Ask Me Anything with TGI. I've posted the link in the description box below.